I firmly believe that whenever you do a demonstration in the classroom, it should be a teaching experience. Um, magic is fine, but we're trying to teach students some chemistry here. However, there are times when you just want to do something for fun. And a good example of one of those times, at the end of the year when my advanced students have finished their, their AP exam, I let them do demonstrations for some of the other students in the school. We go into the general chemistry classes and do some things. And I don't expect them to teach the chemistry behind it. It is just for entertainment. This is one of the things we like to do. I might do this for a parent open house. Um, we, I might have the students do it for other students. Oftentimes I'll do this to a song called Mellow Yellow by Donovan. Uh, we're not going to use the song today. But what I do is, is I'll start out by saying that I wish I had something to drink. And I really could use a soft drink, something nice and fizzy and you know, one of those yellow soft drinks. So what I'll do is I'll take a, a, an empty can and I'll fill it with water, just tap water. Okay. And I'm going to make myself a soft drink. So I pour the can into the first. Oh, that's not really the color I was looking for. Well, that's not going to work. So we're going to see if I can do better than that. Ooh. Well, that's not the color I had in mind either. That's OK. I got a clean glass here. I can make this better. Oh, it just keeps getting darker and darker and darker. And as the song's playing, I express my frustration that we're just not getting the color we want. And that's even worse. And I've just about given up. I wanted my nice, bright yellow soft drink so that I could have something to drink. And so now I'm going to pour it into the last glass. And I get a nice, fizzy yellow drink. And what I did, I can explain some of the chemistry here. These are all iron compounds. We started with tap water. So go back over here to the sign. The first beaker just had uh, chloride, iron chloride solution in it. That's why you got the pale yellow. Uh, the second and the third beaker had the thiocyanate ion and from potassium thiocyanate. And therefore, when I added the iron chloride to it, iron 3 plus chloride, the iron 3 plus and the thiocyanate make that nice blood red solution. It was fairly weak in beaker number two. And in beaker number three, I just had more of the thiocyanate, and that make it a much darker red. Beaker four had some tannic acid in it. And the tannic acid competed with the, uh, competed with the thiocyanate for the iron and made an iron tannate, which gave us a nice black color. And I'm still looking for the yellow. So in the last one, I have an oxalic acid. And that will take the iron 3 ion and my iron oxalate with, uh, in an aqueous solution. And that's a nice bright yellow. In addition to that, I'll usually throw in a little piece of uh, Alka-Seltzer or something to make it a little bit effervescent to make it look more like a soft drink. Um, it's fun, and I like to, especially if you throw some music in with it and make it a little story behind it. And like I said, I would never go over the chemistry with the students. I might with the advanced students, but in general, I just use this for showtime.